Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Uh, actually I'm happy because the pairs have moved almost all of them as per as I predicted it and that is uh, really nice. So let's follow up and see what happened here. So the Euro USD, uh, as I said in the last video, is gonna move up and it's going to hit this resistance level. That is exactly what happened. However, uh, I said in the video that it maybe it will go down to the support level and then for, we can buy it. However, it just continued its bullish momentum and it went all the way up and hit this resistance level. Now, let's see what happened here. Go to the 4 hour chart. What we can see here is the Euro USD. The Euro USD has hit here a strong resistance level right here. And I know it's a very strong resistance level because I see the spike here and also it's at the top of the spike here as well. So however, this pattern here right now on the 4 hour chart indicating that the pair actually might continue falling after bouncing from this resistance. It doesn't seem like the, the pair is going to break out of it. And therefore, I think in the next few hours uh, USD, the Euro USD will continue a little bit rising more. It will go up here like for 4 pips hitting this previous resistance and then it's gonna keep falling down. Let's see how far it will go down. Not that far actually. My expectations for the Euro USD is now, right now we are on a reversal and we can expect for the pair uh, for, the for the next uh, 3 days uh, remaining of the week uh, that we the pair will actually fall down to the support level it might actually fall down even more to hit the support level right here so you can start you can see the pair is already started moving and i believe in the next few days and this is daily candle by the way uh, this this pair has failed to break out of this resistance level and then it's gonna keep falling down all the way until it hit this level of the support so that is my expectation for the Euro USD. I think it is a good idea to start shorting the Euro USD right away. Let's check the pound. The pound has moved exactly, exactly as I thought. I mentioned that it is safe and it's better idea to start shorting the gold, uh, sorry, gold. The pound USD exactly on this point. That is where the pair started falling. And those who have entered the signal have gained approximately 200 and 60 pips of profit that was really great very nice and let's see now what is the next move for the pound usd so after this fall here uh, we can expect for a bounce to happen i'm thinking that the pair will actually reach this level yes because here we had a previous resistance yes this is a resistance my friend because on the four hour chart and this small week here can cost a lot of pips and here we have we have also a support level. It is where this where the, this resistance became a support. However, I'm expecting for the pound USD to continue falling a little bit to hit this previous level of the support, and then we can start buying the pound USD all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here. Uh, let me just write the levels for you. So the pound USD should be start to be good for buy. Uh, this is actually like a, you can say a scalping, we are just uh, trading the bounce, uh, the bouncing or the pullback. That is what we are doing right now. Buy on the level 1.3, Yeah, that should be fine in my opinion. Uh, don't keep the trade for a long time, my friends, only for, let me just uh, tell you exactly until when. Just to be safe. Uh, this is just in the few in the next few hours by the way just until the uh, end of this week because uh, the targets has already been reached the targets which I have placed in the weekly analysis video has already been reached therefore no need to keep the trades running for quite a long time so uh, just keep the trade running until it had this previous resistance right here and we can look for approximately another 80 pips hopefully we are going to get them all Let's now check the AUDUSD. <clears throat> so AUDUSD has also moved as I expected. I told you that we can start selling right on this resistance level right here. That is exactly what happened, thankfully, and the pair just kept falling down. So now what is the next move? Let's now check on uh, the past to see any strong support or resistance levels. So it seems like we have here a strong support level 
right here like that uh, let me just be sure because um, yeah actually this price action this one here indicating that the pair uh, reversing right on this resistance level so we can see that here we have a resistance zone and the pair has exactly kept this pos pos uh, position this resistance it uh, kept its position as a resistance therefore the pair now is falling down so we can start shorting the AUD USD however it's not going to be the best idea we want to start buying it actually to trade the pullback and remember we are on the 4 hour chart so I think it's going to be best I'm just trying to find the best levels for you like this uh, wait for the AUD USD to reach this level of let me just erase that and write the new numbers uh, start buy it on 0, 0 0.68232 that will be actually better level to start buying the USD uh, sorry the AUD USD and keep your trade running all the way until it hit again this resistance level to retest this level and we can expect from this trade approximately uh, 29 or 30 pips of profit hopefully we are going to get them all let's check now the USDGPY the USDGPY as I said also it went up here however I mentioned this level would be best to buy it but it just went uh, just like I think 4 or 3 pips before this level uh, yeah almost 5 or uh, 5 or 4 pips ahead anyway uh, it went up here for almost 50 pips and it hit this resistance level so now what is the next move check the, uh, the daily candle now what I can see here the USD GPY has hit this resistance level exactly like that and it seems like it's gonna reverse the price action here showing a rejection on the resistance it doesn't seem like the pair is going up at this point let's go back to the 4 hour chart we can see the pair also re uh, reversing right on this res previous resistance well, uh, by the way I'm looking right here so we have here this resistance level with the spikes and the pair has reversed right on it so now the USD GPY is going in a bearish momentum and I think it's gonna go down all the way to hit this let me just tell you which support level uh, it's not gonna fall for a long time actually um, I'm expecting until this let me just check on the left just to be sure yeah exactly exactly let me just adjust it like that all right perfect so this is the level where I expect the USD GPY to keep falling uh, I think it's gonna be okay to start shorting the USD GPY keep your trade running until it hit this level of uh, let's just write it can start by it on 109.007 keep your trade running if you are shorting the USD GPY all the way until 109.007 because that is gonna be better level to start buying the USD GPY and if we did buy it if we buy the USD GPY keep the trade running until this level 109.318 we can look for approximately 32 pips of profit again hopefully we are going to get them all let's check now the USD CAD USD CAD has moved also as I expected exactly I mentioned that we have here this spike here of the support and I told you the pair is going down all the way until it hit this spike here and then from this point it's gonna be good to start buying the USD CAD and it seems like it's going more up however this is this has already happened and now it's the time I think to, to uh, look for a sell order for the USD CAD so what is the next move uh, USD CAD is, is facing a strong resistance right on this level uh, the level of one point let me just write it for you uh, USD CAD on the level 1.31663 uh, so this is this is actually can be a good level to start selling the USD CAD again uh, the pair has made the bounce on this support level however it seems like it's gonna make a bounce after hitting this resistance again it's gonna fall down to retest this previous support level so this is how the USD CAD is going to move as per my expectation and now we can see the rejection on this support level and the pair is moving up on the, on the daily candles so we can expect for the USD CAD 
to move a little bit more up all the way until it hit this uh, resistance level to create a resistance number two and then after all uh, we have to see the price action if it's gonna be a pin bar for example if it's a pin bar it's meaning that we can start shorting the USD CAD if it was a full bullish breakout candle it means we can start buying the USD CAD however for the meantime I believe USD CAD is gonna be good to start buying until it hit this resistance level and then close your trade and we will see what will gonna happen with this pair let's look at the USD CHF right now uh, USD CHF I think it is also falling down as I expected and looking at the rest at the left here we can see that we had a resistance level what no thank you okay was just checking what is the message anyway uh, let's see the USD CHF has reversed on this resistance and we can see the pair seems to be able to retest this level because we have here a support level as well keep in mind that we have here this support so the pair seems like it's now reversing on the support level however i really don't think it's gonna break out uh, sorry i don't think it's gonna bounce on this level because looking at the left uh, uh, as well here right here and by the way my eyes is looking at this uh, spike here this spike here I don't think the pair is going to uh, break out from this level seems like it's gonna reverse after this bearish breakout candle and we can expect uh, to keep selling the USD CHF all the way until it hit this previous support as I mentioned in the last video so USD CHF should be still good for sell right on the retest of this uh, support uh, let's wait and see what will gonna happen with this pair let's now check the gold which has almost moved as I expected also uh, is just reverse I just mentioned that the gold should be good to start sell on the level 1481.15 1, however the pair uh, just reversed uh, maybe 10 pips ahead I oh, know I think even less yeah like that just four or five pips before reaching the level however I think it is ranging right now because we have here in the past a support as well if we look at the past here right right here my friends uh, just okay right like that so looking at the past we can see that we are facing right now a strong resistance level plus a strong support level as well so now the pair is ranging and that is the reason the pair is ranging right now because it is in, it's in the middle between strong support and resistance however that is on the four hour chart let's check the daily candles we can see the consolidation also a lot of ranging market however uh, the bu these bullish candles are very very weak they don't indicate any bullish uh, strength at the, in the market at all therefore I believe the gold might actually go a little bit more up again to make one final test on this resistance right here like that I just want everyone to be safe that's why I increased uh, the level where I mentioned to sell because the pair might actually gain gain strength all the way until it hit this previous resistance this will be actually the best level to start shorting the gold uh, right now it's not the best time at all to open any buy or sell orders at all because you will be stuck in the range of market uh, as I mentioned we are stuck in the mid middle between support and a resistance level all in all I think the gold is falling down however it is not yet the right moment to start shorting it better let's wait to see what will gonna happen because it seems look at this wicks or the tails at the bottom of these candles all these tails here indicating a rejection on the level therefore we have to be careful don't open any position in the gold right now most likely it's going up all the way hitting this resistance level and then from this resistance we can start shorting the gold and keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous support level so however so far the week is running very well it's it was a good week for everyone hopefully and i wish everyone will start making a good profit for the remaining days on the week uh, in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching